My tactics are flawless. See you destroyed! I'll bring glory to my... We need to investigate.
excellent place for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor sublimity. An interesting perspective. However, allow me to offer you a bit of advice. In the interests of your own well-being, you should frame your thoughts with greater piety. Demonstrating such a lack of care when choosing your words might be viewed by certain people as evidence of insufficient trepidation before the God Emperor, the Master of Humanity. That is commendable, quite so. However, there are many, many who believe that toils in his name start with diligence in choosing one's own words. Remember that when next you are presented with the privilege of conversing about him with royal servants of the Imperium. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitvir, Master of Whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius, at your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. My regards, Lieutenant General. The Astra Militarum is the hammer of the God Emperor, isn't that what they say? Well, it is likely that fate will give you ample opportunity to demonstrate your talents as a commander. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you, or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius, and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor. But of course, I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. Rogue Trader Theodore... By right of blood. Look, Rogue Trader Theodore von Valencius desires to personally meet with the per with the person recently brought him aboard her her flagship. Um a storm is brewing over the dynasty, so the Lord Captain had something important to share with her heir. If ever she gets the chance. None shall stand in my way.
One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. wavered in the face of adversity. I don't have time for this.
Not a problem. You didn't stand a chance. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. The lines of unvoid fears for head soften and his voice regains its usual courtesy. The master of whispers gives you a curt bow. And the servitor's head are still smoldering. It would seem the cause of the, the cause of the malfunction was this short circuiting of the motive force. A new challenge for me. is simply irrational, Lady Theodora. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide. Practically an admission of heresy. This is... Then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation. No worse than my Seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do with Ion 6, Edelthrad? While you are considering your answer, Edelthrad, I wish to speak with someone else. Perhaps I shall hear something more interesting than incoherent mumbling. Approach. What is this? Is this someone from your retinue, Theodora? Do you permit your people to interrupt your conversations in such a fashion? I give that permission to those with something of substance to say. Let us see if it was worth it. Consider this hypothetical situation. Ion 6. A new world on the fringes of the Coronis Expanse. High seismic activity. Regular magma eruptions, metamorphic rock deposits, prospects for large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say. But attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crews sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure?
transportation, deployment, the unending bureaucracy of the Adeptus Administratum. All to achieve an unpredictable result. People are frail, especially when poorly equipped and trained, and facing an unfamiliar opponent. The wait alone might take an eternity. Not to mention that such a planet might present an opposing force that is not material in nature. Regiments and armies are not always a solution to predicaments such as the one described. It would appear you do not know that. Well, I find your company disagreeable, and yet I'm forced to endure such. Edelthrad, I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck, instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot the time. Here. You have seeded the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all who toil in the Emperor's service. Immutable hierarchy, absolute obedience, lick spittlery, compulsion to please. I value none of these things. From the moment my envoys came for you, the terms of your existence changed. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of Scarus. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity, and my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic. The Warrant of Trade. Kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign and bow death and ruin to us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover along with all there is to find thereon. Resources, people, riches, and mysteries is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you are one of those with Fon Valancius blood in their veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when the hour comes. Oh, yes. You would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump, and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things currently stand, I have doubts that you are suitable for the role of rogue trader. Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for that of their closest ally. <sighs> Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Kunrad Voitvir served me for many years before he made his mistake. I 
I have some time before the Navigator gives the signal to initiate the Void Ship's translation out of the warp, and my presence is required on the bridge. <sighs> Sometimes I forget that people without direct access to a ship's bridge may not know the first thing about how a Void Ship travels between the stars. Vessels such as this one are capable of leaving real space and traversing into the warp, an otherworldly dimension of cruel and unthinkable forces. By entering it under the protection of the Geller Field, we shorten the route to our destination, crossing distances that would require hundreds of years in a matter of weeks instead, sometimes in days or even hours. That is how humanity spread across the galaxy. That is how we were able to build the Imperium, which spans millions of stars. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomaths were careless during maintenance. Or it could be the Warp playing tricks on us in spite of the Gellerfield. Or perhaps there is something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. <sighs> Lady Theodora, for the God Emperor's sake, Surely, you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Idira eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen advisors. This ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant folks speak of specters dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who yet live. The Rykad system, the domain of rogue trader Winterscale, one of my peers and rivals. Besides me, two other rogue traders exist in the Coronas Expanse and each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day assist House von Valancius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. I set the course for Rykad on the demand... for a very specific reason. Perhaps I shall yet apprise you of the purpose for this voyage, but now is not the time. Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings aboard this vessel and in your new position. Eventually, I will find a post that suits you as I did for Edelthrad. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. You can start by not asking questions of this sort. I have no need for sycophants. I will draw my conclusions when an opportunity to prove yourself arises. As for when you will be granted that opportunity, only the God Emperor knows. In that case, I shall head to... <laughs> Disturbances reported on the adjacent decks. Seneschal, if the need arises, protect the new blood. It is possible that the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. Is at the fall. Ah, reduced to dust. My faith strengthens me for the glory of the Imperium. Chaos guides me. One fewer target. I serve the ruinous power. Ugh, just a minor. Out of my way.
Death to the weak! Who even told you to fight like this? Brace yourself, Avalon. Death to non believers. I took care of this one. with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single whoresome survive. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, huh? Not bad. I have seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. Mort has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the Arch Militant requires aid. And be quick about it. I won't tolerate weakness. Thank Providence you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Coonrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. Mort, hold yourself together. What, did the Lord Captain send you to chivvy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away.
Master of Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Voxnet is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report! I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Gellerfield failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only Vox casts from the lower bays a one-way heretical gibberish. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. And I have the means to do both things at once. Edelthrad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the war could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on Transitional Deck 18. Blast it! Master of Whispers, find Edelthrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant, with me. I must go to my study. And it appears we might encounter heretics along the way. Ignatius. Ignatius. Theodore Klein says that you thought for me. If I may, Lord Captain. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edelthrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the House as the esteemed Arch Militant, and taking into consideration Edelthrad's psycho powers. Then it's settled. Find Edelthrad and bring him here. In whatever state you find him. This elevator... ...leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? Kunrad, keep an eye on our spirited guest. You are personally responsible. Mort! Are you ready to head to 18? It is a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. Oh, certainly. Lady Theodora would be devastated if she were to lose one of her precious heirs. But that is no longer relevant.
Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you were back with us, I see. Delightful. How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom of the Warring Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred Warrant of Trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel. An ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. On the contrary, the Warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, fond Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me, but you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? Wretched. What do you know about wretchedness? Theodorus Kerr. Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with your blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion. But thank the gods it no longer has power over me. Humanity can rot. I no longer serve mortal kind. Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wench, Von Valencius, watch as I sacrifice her entire dynasty and commit their fate to the gods. And you will be the instrument by which I will accomplish this righteous act. I doubt it, my dear. But that's enough talk. Fulfill your destiny.
high levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Follow my lead. Escort the child of the house to safety. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel, designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the Warren chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. I'll lay claim to the stars. Master! What? Well, whatever are you doing in the Warren Chamber? How did you... Throne, preserve me! What is the meaning of this? What? Responsible for the mutiny. 
Bandmaster, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. Saints blood! Then it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive, and now safe, Master. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Mm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And, for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Victory awaits. I am at your service. I'm always ready. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. This wound will make a fine scar. Thank you. Now, where were we? I tire of idleness. Let's move. Look no further. Let's patch you up. Back into the fray. Your Seneschal is always there for you. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead.
The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the navigator's sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. I am no helmsman. Oh, God Emperor, preserve me, navigator. However, I've spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Geller field has faltered. Perhaps the Navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever lost in the war. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? Warren Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. But I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then, why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? During warp transit, the Sanctum is closed to all who are not involved in traversing the Empyrean. And for good reason. For the Navigator to open their third eye and perceive the way, the Sanctum must be bathed in the energies of the Immaterium. Only a Navigator can withstand such an ordeal. For the rest of us, any contact with the warp is fraught with perils such as loss of sanity, spontaneous mutations, and death. I concur that under ordinary circumstances, interrupting the Navigator's solitude would be equivalent to suicide. Right now, however, our sacrifice could prevent the demise of a rogue trader, a void ship of the Imperium, and all her crew, armaments, and equipment. The choice is obvious. Cut. is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Don't you dare to cross us! Let the blood flow! Absolutely not. 
all too easy. Chaos guides me! I've suffered worse. I serve the ruinous powers! Out of my way! Suits my part, nothing of value has been lost. At your back and call, I took care of this one. Death to the weak! I can't do. You didn't stand a chance. I'm at your service. Doubt is for the weak. the appropriate treaties on Tactica Imperialis and weigh every step. Sometimes though you just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. And so, 
He will enter the halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Master, watch your head. Indira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! This is Idira Tlas personal psyker and diviner of Her Ladyship Theodora von Falencius. Edira? <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn, and in the roaring blaze I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have... The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad. But I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me, too many voices, too loud. And you, you are Fon Valancius, one of Lady Theodora's heirs. Well then, <laughs> we finally meet. That settles rat. Oh, Empress Providence. The other air lives as well. Quickly, we must head to... Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelfrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it! You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. What? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? <laughs> I have seen you. I have seen the footsteps of your past and the wounds of your heart. <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the engineerium, But it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog. And the silence that followed. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Said, without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle decks. Oh no, 
No, no, no, no, no, no. Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <laughs> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. Tested tactics are the best ones. It will be done. No can do.
will of chaos! Curse you, miscreant! It will be done. <laughs> Reduced to dust! Anything is be gone. All done. My tactics are flawless. my specialty. I believe most of a spider still lives. Uh, uh, well, the servants are dead, but the chamber, thank the Emperor, is still sealed from the warp. Well, we have a chance of leaving this place alive. Your time is short. can only begin the translation with the assistance of the Master Helmsman, if he is still alive. It is worth a try. We must get to the bridge, but we will need support. Our only option is to fight our way to the officer's deck and join forces with Edelthrad and his people. I believe we will also find Lady Theodora there. She must have heard the call to arms that the Servo Skull relayed to us earlier.
the spiders. Good luck. And thank you. I won't tolerate weakness. Sister Argenta! Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. We require all the forces we can muster. Your face. It is unfamiliar. Who are you? The hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. The faces of friends are twisted by smears of heresy. The eyes of comrades ignite with the archenemy's hunger. I will do what I must to halt the advance of the dark forces. But in these dire moments, little can be trusted. So I must know, why are you here? Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. The ship is under attack by heretics. We've been betrayed by our esteemed Master of Whispers. Edelthrad the heir is waiting for our aid, and Lord Captain Theodora is expecting a report on our success. We are here to deal with the situation, so I suggest we all... That answer does you credit. Only the truly righteous would be so provoked by the accusation of heresy. I cannot wait to rain righteous fire down upon each and every heretic!
Sister Argenta is a guest of the Lord Captain. And that story deserves its own time and conversation. Under more appropriate circumstances. Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be, and that will suffice. Overseer of Middle Deck AL-84, my lord. We were rounding up everyone we could find in the attack compartments when we ran into an ambush. Just about every Enforcer fell. These are the survivors. Massacre, my lord. And heretics are not just killing the crew. Some kind of blight is sweeping through the decks, filling the air. I saw people going mad the moment they breathed it in, screaming about seeing their dead comrades, tearing out their eyes. I implore you, my lord, be on your guard. Through this door, I shall join you, for it is my duty to the God Emperor to destroy this heresy. We will follow. For now, we will hold off any heretics who might try to crawl in through the cracks to join the main assault. And we'll take a look at the generators while we're at it. Those villains made a mess of the cables. Oh, I wish we had a Texan map with us, but we'll see what we can do without one. Good to hear it. Sister? Ready. May Terra's light illuminate our path through fire and darkness. I'm always ready.
None shall stand in my way. Follow my lead.
I'll lay claim to the Beware stars. Beware the ire of the witch. Surrender to the dark powers. Without deed, strike is a prayer. Chaos guides me. It's nothing. I serve the ruinous powers. Boarding. But of course. Not a problem for me. I'm not so sure. Not the scryer's job. Was... Was that you? Pain oh. and duty go hand in hand. Already done! Opposing you was your biggest.
to non-believers. Nothing I can't do. Suits my purposes. I'd rather not. Someone else can do this. Chaos guides me! God! Ah! Your Aegis, O oh Emperor. I will bathe this battle ah! in the righteous Not the fury! The shared one's duty! while you still draw breath. Not a problem. Nothing of value has been lost. It will be done. Suits my fault. You didn't stand a chance. Follow my lead. I bring ruin. Anything else? Tactically sound approach.
I will do my It's about time. It won't open. The damned heretics have blocked the door, trembling at the thought of our approach. A melter charge will help. There's probably one around here somewhere. That didn't go as I'd hoped. How may I serve the dynasty? Did I mention that my whispers tell me jokes? <laughs> jokes that once said aloud make your eyes bleed and blood curdle. Talk about black comedy.
guides me. I serve the ruinous powers. Out of my way! Just a minor setback. Death to the weak! Your end is near! Me. Cover me! Do you see that? They respond to this. Nothing I can. At your back and forth. I act. Rejoice in the ah! I'll do it. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Chaos guides me!
wants me! Will do. So what an unfortunate turn of fate. Indeed. I took care of this one. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Anything else?
It won't open. The damned heretics have blocked the door, trembling at the thought of our approach. A melter charge will help. There's probably one around here somewhere. Yes. Uh, I forgot. 